How's it going guys? Clutch here, once again, farming sim 19. Uh, we are in the beta that allows us to do some terraforming. So I wanted to check that out and show you guys what the limitations are, what you can do with it, what you can expect. Should have it later on this month, I believe, so hopefully by the year end. Anyways, let's get into it. Clutch Simulations. All right, so this is a plot of land kind of up in the north section, uh, field five area that's underutilized. I don't think I've used it for anything ever. And I thought it might be a neat spot to uh, build a farm. So anyways, let's uh, see what we can do with the terraforming to allow us to build a little farm in this area. So first off, we're going to need to buy the land. That's uh, going to be the first problem we're gonna run into. Now, uh, lands, purchase. Yes, I want to buy it. I want to buy the one beside it just because I won't be able to build onto the roads otherwise I don't think. Buy. Perfect. So that allows me to build on the roads. Otherwise, I won't be able to get my my uh, the roads I build close enough to the roads to count. Basically, it'll be like a, a dirt path or a gravel path between the roads. Because I believe the roads are kind of owned by both, by both properties. Anyways, um, let's go and start with a farmhouse now. Uh, I do need to change, I need to sell the farmhouse I currently have, because you only allowed one per map. All right, so now we want to buy a placeable. And, oops, let's go with our farmhouse, perfect. Now, it seems that the, um, let's see if it'll work here. Come on, there we go. So it's still a little bit finicky. Um, it's better than it was, but it does, you still have, items colliding fairly easily and now I wonder how the collision mod, the non-collision mod that I have, uh, that I usually run with, how it's going to work with this with this patch. We'll see. We'll have to play with that. I should say currently I'm not running with any mods whatsoever. This is zero mods. This is just the game with a new patch. Um, and this is in beta, I should say as well. So I'm going to lower this right down. You can see I can raise and lower still. We'll put it right in the corner here. That's going to be where our farmhouse goes. Okay, let's uh, also go with, uh, we'll go with a small silo. We'll build that over on this side here. Let's see about where I can put this up. Zoom it out a bit so I can see what I'm looking at here. I'd like to put it right over here, sure. That's perfect. Cool. Uh, can I get maybe a chicken coop? Kind of put a small chicken coop over here. Will it let me do that. It's gonna let me tell me it's colliding with everything, isn't it? Maybe down below, no. Nope. Uh, we could put one right in there, okay. Perfect, that's fine. I can live with that. And what else do we want to put in here? Anything else? Uh, we'll put a small shed. Tell you what, put the shed uh, kind of hidden. Can I put it in the back side? That'd be perfect. I can put it over here. No, it's not going to let me. Tell you what, we'll put it like this and we'll make the roads go around it. How's that sound? Is that going to work? Kind of, maybe. Perfect, okay. So, we've got a shed over here, we've got our silo, and we've got our farm. Now, it's kind of did okay. You can see there's some roughness in the ground. Um, let's see what we can do now as far as terraforming and uh, making it look nice. So, I wouldn't mind trying to bring, I don't know if the road will, yeah, it should be able to bring a road right in here, like or just like a driveway almost, and then circle around, and then back over to the silo, and maybe some dirt around the uh, chicken coop here. Ch coop. And what else can we do? I don't know. We'll take a look what we can do with this hillside. I don't know how much we're going to be able to modify it, but we'll take a look. So you'll see here, instead, now we have an extra option on the top with her landscaping. Um, let's see. So let's bring up the old menu because I don't know the controls that well yet. So we have an option for sculpting and painting. So I just click in on my left thumbstick and that changes between the two. Uh, let's start with just painting. Now I want to make this kind of a paved road. Uh, ground type, you can see I can switch now. On the bottom right, I'm switching the ground type. And there's quite a few different options here, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's start with, I don't even know which would be a good one to start with here. I need like a pavement. Let's start with that. Now you can see I've got another option for my brush type. Uh, that one changes as well. So changing the shape, oops, uh, there we go. So I can go with either a round or a, the square. And I can also change the radius or the size of it, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to stay with the round because I think that's going to give me more of the natural feeling. Now let's take a look what this looks like. Boom. So that there is the concrete. That actually looks pretty good. So let's uh, just see what happens if I can... Oops, I want it to be about that size still. 
just kind of slowly paint my way down and in. Come on. Doesn't really like one of the trucks there. It kind of freezes on the truck a bit. Uh, can I paint? Oh, I can too. I can paint over the placeables, whatever it had. So that can be kind of like my little driveway. And then we'll obviously want to paint. Now let's raise the size up of this a little bit. Oh, I can't see. Sorry. So it goes out in front. And then we're going to have shrink a little bit and head to the silo. Awesome. All right. Cool. And maybe we'll come out the other side. And I'll see if I can bring this one. So it just kind of comes over here like this. I need to straighten that out, obviously. And, and this is just going to come up and click back onto the road. Make this a little bit bigger because that doesn't look quite right. All right. Well, that's simple enough right there, guys. Um, we'll give this a... You know what? We'll leave that the way it is. Let's switch this to dirt just to see how the dirt looks. There you go. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you can kind of just make a little bit of a dirt trail that comes off the staircase there. And you know what? Around the house, we'll do... I could probably put grass too, to be honest. Let's uh, let's switch that up to grass just because I can. Uh, let's raise this up a little bit here. Uh, some more grass down along the side. And why is it not letting me get the bigger radius? There it goes. Okay, thank you. Actually, this is really smooth, guys. This is actually pretty good. Give ourselves a little bit of a lawn out front here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay. So you can actually give yourself a grass yard if you wanted to. Um, and then for the chicken coop, let's give it some actual dirt all the way. Like a little path, maybe. I don't know what that's going to look like, but we'll see. We shall see. Uh, Okay, there's like the, it's that's the mixture texture. We're gonna need to find the right texture for this. Is that better? I don't know, that's not much better to be honest. There we go, that's the one I was looking for. It's just kind of the sandy look. Give it a bit of a path that goes to it. That is pretty cool. So we'll, we'll raise this up and we'll just do this all the way around. That's fine. Awesome, all right. So there we've got our chicken coop kind of done. All right, so that's that's all fine and good. Um, you can see we can brush and paint however you decide, so desire. There's quite a bit of options here. Um, without sitting some time and kind of really playing with this, I'm not going to be able to get much going here. I don't think I need to really focus in on that if I want to do much better. But what I really wanted to look at was the terraforming. So let's go over to sculpting now. You can see I switched back over to sculpting. And this is still a little bit rough in here. So I wanted to flatten this out. Now there's a flatten or a smooth option. So I'm going to hit Y. And let's see if I can smooth this a little bit. And it does a little bit. You can see the ground is kind of smoothing off. You're not going to have like the little jumps you would normally get by doing uh, this kind of work, which is kind of nice. You can see we've got a bit of a bump. It looks like a transition right here. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can flatten that off. The placeable might be in the way. And you can watch by the money. You'll know that if it's doing anything. It doesn't look like it's doing too much there, to be honest. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, put a hill over here. So I have the option of raising the terrain. Now let's uh, let's go big. Uh, is it going to let me do anything in this area? That's going to be the question. Terrain cannot be edited here. Interesting. So there is a bit of a limitation, and I think it's being caused by placeable. As you can see now, that's uh, raising the terrain. It should be, right? Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, we're raising the terrain up here. It's funny that it gets rid of the grass. I'm sure the grass will grow back as normal. But, uh, oh, weird. Okay, so it's this is me raising as well, by the way, I should say, not lowering. But just because it needs to terraform into the hillside, it's cutting away the hill. So now what about flatten? Uh, right bumper is flattening. So now I can make a flat plateau area. I'd have to raise up here, I guess, but that's going to affect the chicken coop, and it doesn't want to do that. Let's see if I can go down here. I can just kind of flatten and make up a hillside if I wanted to. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And yeah, that's cool. And let's go take a look over here now. All right, so that's pretty easy, actually, guys. That made a pretty flat area. I mean, I just quickly cut into this hillside with it. Um, let's take a quick look at if I can just smooth this off a little bit here. So I'll use the smooth function. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, it does too. 
Now the money is going down. Like it's tough to say how much I had. I can't remember how much I started with there, but there's quite a bit. But you can watch, see if I can raise this, um, smooth this all out again. No, it's not going to let me go that big. There we go. So I'll smoothen this all out, so you don't have that kind of large bump that's on the tar the front there. And the money's going down about a hundred bucks every, you know, ten seconds or so if I hold the button down, doing the smoothing. Very cool, very cool. I like it. This is pretty good, guys. So, like I said, this is in the beta. We should be have access to this uh, later on this month. There might be a few more tweaks and changes to it, but from what I've seen so far, this is actually pretty impressive. I'm really looking forward to how this is going to work. And uh, if I maybe, uh, once I install that mod tool as well, I'm curious to see how that is going to affect everything. Very cool stuff, guys. Anyways, looking forward to this. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, uh, quick video, this quick demo video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, guys, well, you know what to do there as well. So that'll do it for me today, guys. This is Clutch, over and out.